Hello YouTube, I'm back again today, and first off I want to thank Pro Winston for getting this deck profile. This is the th zombie monarch deck that took third place at YCS Providence. And also I'd like to say yes, everyone is talking about this deck, and w everyone's profiling it and saying what they have to say. And I want to uh, put my two cents in, and... The big question is, is this a zombie deck? And, um, well, everyone can make up their own mind about what they think. I believe that, yes, it is a zombie deck. Um, if you don't remember, I'd say about a year ago, does anybody remember plants? Tengu plants? Tour guide Tengu plants? They ran anywhere between, what, three to five or six plants in the deck. And um, what I believe qualifies as a deck is the creator of the name gets to name, the creator of the deck gets to name the deck. And also, what engine is used to secure the deck's win condition. And in this case, it's using cards like Spirit Reaper, Mizuki, and Plague Spreader to tribute off and summon for Kaios. And that's really all I have to say about it. And I kind of feel that this is, if you're saying that uh, zombies are back, zombies are now the meta, I believe this is kind of a no disrespect to uh, the guy running the deck. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name. But I feel this is kind of a hollow victory if you're saying zombies are back. This feels kind of like when Jeff Jones topped with Psychics. Now, of course, he was running more Psychics, but his big win condition of the deck was more, more or less Grand Soil. And not synchroing off and using the psychics as a uber win condition. But I don't know, that's just my opinion. But what this also does show is that zombies are an excellent, excellent archetype to help support other archetypes. Because most people are saying that this is just a, another variation of chaos. And in a way, you're also right. Because zombies can dr help assist in dropping Black Luster Soldier, Dark Arm, Chaos Sorcerer, along with several, several other cards. And one thing that this deck has going for it that a lot of other Chaos variants doesn't is the fact that they can drop the card Revived King Hades. Now... I'm sure this is one of the cards you have to play with to really understand how good it is, but this card is amazing, especially in, I'd say, this format, because people are playing a, a lot more floaters, they're relying on a much slower game, and this card lets you just poke right into their stuff and just negate their effects in the graveyard. So, this can stop Chaos Dragons using Raikou. It can stop Junk Doppel's Level Leader. It can stop your Sangan Search. It can stop your Mystic Tomato Search. It just does so many good things. And I believe that this is a solid deck. As I think it was Slim X Team Symmetry said. That this is a lot like a deck you would find during the 2005 GOAT Control format. And I can really see it. And this is just a good player making a deck that fits his playstyle. And as much as I would say I wouldn't recommend trying to net deck this. I kind of expect to see, to, expect to see the price of some of these cards such as Plague Spreader, Caius, Mizuki... And Hades go up in price as people try to copy uh, this guy's deck profile. And as I want to apologize to him personally because I can't pronounce his name and I'm not going to try to insult him by trying. Alright, thank you for watching and goodbye.